So far in this course, we have seen React hooks like use state and use effect. But what exactly are React hooks? React hooks are functions exposed from React that allows you to use the different React features. So they allow you to hook into React features. And these are features like state management, component, lifecycle, context, memoization, and many other features. React comes with a lot of built-in hooks and you can also combine some of these hooks to create your own custom hook. So if we go to the React documentation here, you can see we have a couple of built-in hooks. We have hooks for state features like your use state that we have already seen in this course. And then we have use reducer, which we would see later. We have context hooks like the use context. We have ref hooks like the use ref and use imperative handle. We have effect hooks like the use effect, which we have already seen in this course. We also have use layout effect, use insertion effect. Some of these hooks I haven't even used before. We have performance hooks like your use memo, use callback. We keep going down. We have use transition and use deferred value. We have resource hooks like your use, just use. And then we have other hooks like use debug value, use ID, use sync external store. One thing you notice with all these hooks is that they are prefixed with use. So you are using a feature. Use state is you are using the state feature. Use context is you're using the context feature. Use effect is you are using the the effect feature of react and if you want to build your own custom hook the convention is to prefix it with use for example i can build a custom hook called use decode whatever that hook is used for i don't know so in the upcoming lessons we'll be exploring some of these hooks we'll be seeing what these hooks are what they do and we'll also be learning how to use these hooks but before we proceed to look at some of these hooks it's important to know that hooks have rules and they are called rules of hooks you can find those rules on the react documentation this is the legacy documentation and i'm using this legacy documentation because i couldn't find the rules of hooks in the current documentation so you have two rules the first rule is that you can only call hooks at the top level as it says here you cannot call hooks inside loops conditions or nested functions what does this mean so if we go back to the application we have been working on so far if we go to app.gsx for example here we have a use state hook now i cannot do something like if and maybe i have a condition that is true and then i have this hook inside here i cannot do this because this way i am putting the hook inside a condition block it is no longer at the top level i am now breaking that rule so this is an if block also in this case i have a function so if i should also try to put this hook inside of this function it's also not going to be valid because this hook is not at the top level so whatever hook you're using use state use effect or the other hooks you have to use them at the top level and this is important because that way react can call the hooks in the right order each time your component re-renders so if this component should re-render react can call this in the right order this follow by this followed by this and that is why the doc says that by following this rule you ensure that react hooks are called in the same order each time a component renders that's what allows react to correctly preserve the state of hooks between multiple use state and use effects calls now the second rule is that you can only call hooks from react functions you cannot call them from regular javascript functions coming back to this example i think we have a regular javascript JavaScript function in helpers slash array. Now this is a regular JavaScript function. I cannot come here and use hooks here. This is me breaking the rules of hooks. You can only call hooks from a React function component, just as we are doing in app.gsx here, or we can also call hooks from custom hooks. In the future lesson, I'm going to show you how to create custom hooks, but these are the only place that you can call hooks. You cannot call hooks from a regular JavaScript function, and you also cannot call hooks from a javascript class it's either a react function component or a custom hook and as it says here by following this rule you ensure that all stateful logic in a component is clearly visible from its source code the react docs also recommends this eslin plugin called eslin plugin react hooks and it enforces these two rules so if you have this package
package installed in your application and you set it up in ESLint config, this would enforce the two rules for you. Now, by creating this application with Vit, it helped me set up ESLint and you can see the plugin React hooks here. So let's say I go to app to GSX here now and I put this in a condition, which means it's no longer at the top level. If I should open my console and come to problems here, I have a couple of problems here, mostly about having unused variables, but you can see here it says react hook use state is called conditionally if i zoom out you'll be able to read it well it's called unconditionally react hooks must be called in the exact same order in every component render let's also say i go to array.js and i also use a react hook here you're gonna see we have react hook use state is called in function randomized arrow that is neither a react function component nor a custom react hook function so by setting this up it enforces those react hooks for you okay now that we have a good foundation of what react hooks are let's now get to understand some of the react hooks and how to use them